I believe that Betty Cash, Vicki Landrum, encountered something. My gut feeling is that the government is involved in it up to their eyebrows. I think that we need to uh, uh, impress upon uh, Uncle Sam to, to lay those cards down and let us have a look at them and let us evaluate that database. Critics think the UFO community is looking for answers from the government which simply don't exist. If not enough evidence is collected for people to do an objective analysis, no matter how much you think you've had an experience, no matter how strong your recollections, people aren't being cruel when they tell you we can't continue the investigation. They're being realistic. There's no more we can do. Skeptics dispute the conspiracy theories that surround many U cases and claim the government has no reason to conceal the truth. You can, after the fact, construct almost any event and make it look very strange and weird. The military, in my experience, does not lie about what it does. It's too concerned about its public relations image. First of all, the, the government has every reason to lie. And second of all, the government does lie. There are tons of evidence where they've been caught with their hand in the proverbial cookie jar. The uh, Alabama incident involving uh, the black uh, males that were subjected to testing, the GIs that were taken out into the desert uh, in 1940s and 50s and subjected to uh, atomic blast, and the government is turning their back. Uh, I, I would say to this gentleman that crap. Next, a high-ranking military officer takes on the government and demands it release its secrets about UFOs. Across the United States and around the world, UFO enthusiasts meet to swap stories, share data, and commiserate over the government's unwillingness to comment on these mysterious phenomena. One of the most vocal critics of government secrecy is retired Sergeant Major Robert Dean. He held a high position during the 1960s with NATO. Dean says he saw a top secret military document containing information about UFO incidents, which he claims nearly brought about World War III. The document essentially dealt with the NATO study of the reality of extraterrestrial intelligence, the UFO matter. Now, there were large circular metallic objects flying all over Europe. They would fly in formation and they would disappear off of NATO radar over the Norwegian Sea. This issue had almost caused we and the Soviets to go to war at least a half a dozen times over the years for the wrong reasons. Once I realized that this was a reality and not myth, legend, it had an impact on me which I've never quite gotten over. Dean and his wife Cecilia have formed an organization to educate and lobby for congressional hearings on the UFO issue. Stargate International literally is an international organization devoted to one basic thing bringing out the truth of the UFO and the extraterrestrial intelligence issue, which has been covered up and sat upon and denied for so many years by not only our government, but practically every government on this planet. The time has come for the American government to tell the people the truth. Our goal has been to influence government, to influence uh, Congress, to hold congressional hearings and to do it perhaps not for them necessarily to release UFO materials, modern UFO evidence, but at least to give us a form in which we could release it. Robert Dean believes that the government's policy of denying the existence of UFOs and withholding evidence violates our constitutional rights as U.S. citizens. I swore an oath to give my life if necessary to defend the United States Constitution. I didn't take that oath lightly. I've been through a whole bunch of wars, some that you know about, some you don't even know about. And it's become very clear to me that our constitutional process is literally endangered by this lying, by this cover-up, by the 50 years of deceit and deception. Dean believes the government has hundreds of stories it has yet to tell about UFO encounters. According to Dean, the 1997 U.S. Air Force press conference revealing facts about a 1947 crash of an alien craft in Roswell, New Mexico, was yet another deception. We are very, very proud of this report. 
we think uh, in our office that this answers lots of questions and it answers them logically and with integrity. Look at the absurdity of what the Air Force has had to say recently about Roswell. First it was a balloon. No, no, it wasn't a balloon and yet, yes, it was a balloon, but it was a different kind of balloon. Now the story is that, oh, they were dropping crash dummies without bringing it out in the air that that was 10 years later. I say to you and your generation and to your viewers that you people are not going to take this anymore. Is the United States government withholding secrets from its citizens about UFOs and extraterrestrial life? I held a top secret code word security clearance. It's the highest security clearance that you can hold. I do not believe that the military can keep secrets for significant periods of time. Certainly secrets that a lot of people would like to know about, like UFOs. Lots of people make claims about various things the military is doing or has done, but they can't produce any evidence. The UFO community passionately believes the government is hiding these secrets and evidence of extraterrestrial visitation. We're standing right outside of uh, basically one of the openings here at Area 51. A lot of mystique surrounds it. Uh, we don't know who, who runs it. The government has denied knowing anything about it, but yet it becomes one of the most top secret government bases in the world stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. My feeling, my take on it is, is that out there in the desert there's probably some bones buried, literally. Crashed vehicles. Like Ted said, you know, I hear the stories, I, I read some of the articles and some of the testimony, but we don't have physically uh, a crashed saucer from Area 51 in our hands and an ET lying beside it that we can show to the rest of the community. Most skeptics, while admitting there may be alien intelligence in the universe, don't believe it has ever made contact with Earth. UFOs exist. People see things they can't explain. They always have, they always will. That's okay. There will always be UFOs as long as there's anything in this universe we don't understand. I don't think that we're going to be negative to it because what does it gain us? We know if someone has gotten here, what they represent technologically, our only hope in dealing with them is that they come here in peace. If they don't, we might as well surrender. I think we already have made contact. I, I believe that they're walking on this planet as we are ourselves. And maybe in the millennium that's coming up, maybe through social changes and through government changes, we'll be able to readily accept those that are coming and haven't arrived and those that have arrived and we just haven't been able to uh, notice them. For the UFO community, it's not a question of whether we make contact, it's when. These sky watchers will keep their eyes on the stars and pressure on the government in their search for indisputable proof of an alien craft. For the rest of us, the truth about who, if anyone, inhabits the heavens and what secrets the government has filed away will probably remain out there and unexplained.